In Hermetic Teachings, what does it mean to use the higher against the lower? Now let's look at it like this. The higher is the spiritual side of you and the lower is the physical side of you. Therefore, we are called upon to use our higher spiritual faculties against the lower physical reality in order for us to realize our objectives in life. We learn to live by the power of our mind and stop bowing down to circumstances as they are for the latter attitude causes us to remain stuck. So let's analyze this more deeply. Consider for a moment the lower realm of your life. What does it entail? We would describe it as your physical reality, the circumstances that are currently pressing themselves onto your awareness. For most people, the lower side of their life is the only thing that has captured their attention. It is the only area of their life they are mostly worried over and are obsessed with. But here we are saying you have to use the higher against the lower. The higher will be explained in a moment, but for now, first become aware in your own life how the lower is impressing itself on your consciousness, causing you to think in a certain way about yourself and your potential. 90% of the time, if not more, if someone has a dream, they will first analyze the lower side of their life and make a conclusion whether they can or cannot go for their dream. They are letting present circumstances control their minds. My mentor would describe it as follows. They let the money in their bank account determine whether they can afford something or not. They let the balance sheet determine whether they are successful or not. They let their current weight determine whether they can be in shape or not. Think carefully about this. I would also add another example from my own experience and observation when it comes down to YouTube content creators. They let the amount of views they get determine whether they are successful or not. In the case of YouTube, most people I've known give up because they aren't getting a lot of views right away or are not making a lot of money fast enough. They think because of all of this, it's better to quit and just go back to their previous way of living. In all these examples, we must come to the conclusion, if we are smart, that there must be a better way of going about our business. There must be a way to make our dreams come true, even though we might not perceive it in our current circumstances. This is what it means to let the lower side of your life control us. We are completely oblivious to the way out of it because we have allowed this part of our lives to completely dominate our thinking. It is important to pay attention where you are at physically. We are not preaching that one should ignore his circumstances in such a manner that they are potentially putting themselves at great risk or harm's way. Use your senses to perceive where you are at, but don't let your senses control the way you think and feel about things. This is the secret. Did you catch the power? It took me many years to really figure this one out, to get a grip over my own senses. So strong can they be that it almost feels like a battle, but it will be quickly won by the person that is determined to take back control. Control of what? A control over their mind. Without controlling your mind, your senses are running the show. Don't let them. Use your senses wisely, but also use your mind powerfully, is what I would suggest you start doing from now on. If we are confronted with situations we want to outgrow, where do we start? Well, we first have to analyze the way we think and imagine. We have to build a vision of what our ideal life would look like, and then we have to use our ability to think to actually generate ideas on how to go about it. Let me try and explain this for you from personal life. The vision inspire humanity through videos that I shared through YouTube. That was step one for me. Step two, think carefully about how I can pull this off. Generate videos, ideas in my mind that I can make. This video that you are watching is such an idea that first originated in my mind and then I decided to turn it into reality since I know it is in harmony with my main vision for the channel. Step three, as I act upon these ideas, they start to alter my physical reality. They become visible, not just for me, but for everyone else, and then I can either do its work for some, and it won't do its work for others. In other words, some people will be inspired, and others simply don't resonate with my messages. And that is just fine, since that's just the way it is. Now my senses, even for me at first, when I started this channel, would show me hardly any viewers. The only subscribers were five friends of mine that I knew in person, but that was it. After starting the channel, I could not let my senses control me. 
I had to dare imagine myself living my purpose, making that dream a reality at all costs and ignore what my senses were telling me. There's a trick to it. I would ignore what my senses were telling me in the sense that I wouldn't allow them to destroy my dream by making me aware of potential contradictions to my dream. For example, you have no viewers so it won't be possible, etc. But if my sensor showed me something I knew I had to alter or change in order to better reach my dream, then I would do it. Don't forget about this, because many times we tend to go about our dreams in the wrong way, so like always we have to keep an open mind and use our senses wisely as stated before. Analyze for yourself, have you been going about your dream in a similar manner? If not, why? Because by doing it you will progressively move closer to the realization of your dream. I can say this from experience. The lower side of your life is that area most visible to you. The area you are mostly aware of and is trying to impress itself on your mind 24-7. Now let's talk about the higher side of your life. If we consider the higher side of our lives, we have to learn about our mental faculties. I have spoken about these powers before and I will briefly mention all six of them. As you hear about these, keep in mind that you are called upon to use these faculties if you want to improve your life physically. The mental faculties are imagination, reasoning, willpower, intuition, memory and perception. Each of these faculties can and should be used in order to improve the physical quality of your life. If you apply these faculties wisely, you are using the higher part of yourself against the lower part of your life, the physical. So in this case, as I shared before, concerning dreams we may have, we have to build a vision and that would mean using your imagination. You are using one of your God-given powers in order to create and alter reality. That is what I want you to take serious. As you become aware of your dream, it rapidly occurs to the faculty of imagination. You have some idea of what you would like to achieve and it is a vague picture in your mind that is due to imagination. Now when you become aware of your dream, most people will use their senses to analyze whether it is possible or not for them to go for the dream. So they might look at their bank account and realize, I cannot even afford half of what my dream entails, so it's not possible, I give up. No, 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 don't do that, stop doing that. Instead, start applying another mental faculty, the one of reasoning, and start finding reasons on how you can. In order for this to happen, you have to start studying about other people that have already succeeded and what you want to achieve as well. I know, sometimes, but very rarely, your dream is so unique that no other human has achieved it. But even then, the fact you were made aware of such a dream is due to the cosmic consciousness of the universe invoking you to make this happen. So by then you would most likely already be led by one of your other mental faculties, the one called intuition. That faculty should be used always, but in such a scenario, it will entirely depend on you using that faculty in order to find your way towards the realization of your dream. If the higher is meant to be used against the lower, then every day of your life you should learn to live through your imagination, to use your reasoning faculty to think clearly about what it is you want and apply your willpower to keep yourself focused on your dream. Intuition always plays a role, for even with all the videos I post, I simply go fishing inside my mind for video ideas. I simply feel my way to what seems to be interesting videos to talk about and then I get to work. Where does memory come into play? Well, I would say you use your memory to go back to past successes, and if you've never had any, which I doubt, but okay, I'll accept it, well, use your memory to simply remember all the good things that you want to achieve. Remember all the wonderful elements concerning your dreams so that your mind does not get lost in the physical limitations of life. Use your memory to memorize these wonderful truths that reveal that you can live your dreams. A perception, how do we use this one? It's simple, by even watching this video you are letting your perception be influenced. In other words, you use your perception physically and mentally to always look for ways on how you can go about your business more effectively. Because again, in most cases if people are unaware of their own mental faculties, their perception is being dominated by their senses and not by great visions of achievement. They are not being stirred by their own dreams, but you can start doing that from now on as well. If you start thinking carefully about these mental faculties for yourself and how you are using them, you will develop deeper insights into your own potential. 
you would become more effective and wise in how to go about your business, and ultimately you will discover that it's true. These mental faculties do alter the physical side of your life, which is exactly in harmony with the hermetic principle of using the higher against the lower. You use your God-given mental faculties in order to change physical circumstances around, and lo and behold, you never remain stuck. You will always find a way to outgrow your circumstances and create a better life for yourself and everyone else if that's what you want. This to me is one of those things we have to study day in and out. Something we want to keep burned into our minds so that when life confronts us again, we remember to look within. Look within your consciousness through the power of your imagination for the results that you physically want. It is the only way to outgrow anything. So in conclusion, what can we learn from these two sides? Well, in order to apply what you've learned, you're going to have to take action. Don't stagnate. Don't just entertain these ideas and let them potentially lift you up while you're not doing anything worthwhile other than to feel good for a brief moment in time. Wherever you are in life, if it is not to your liking, then no longer fight with your own circumstances. The fighting happens through us feeling bad, beating up on ourselves, doubting our abilities. All these negative states of mind can be overcome. Instead, start using your imagination to first clearly see where you want to go with your life, what you want to do with your life. Use your imagination to make it clear what your purpose is all about. Once you have that in place, start thinking about how you can execute your purpose. What kind of goals can you set that are in alignment with your purpose? For once you have a list of goals, you become able to act upon them. And when you act upon them the way you have been physically living, your life starts to alter into the reflection of what at first was but a fantastic dream in your mind. So with me it went as follows. The vision, inspire humanity through YouTube videos, that is my purpose. Then I started thinking on how I could do that and I come up with video ideas. And as I keep thinking about how to present these ideas, sometimes you see the presentation shift around. But they were all ideas that were generated as long as I remained focused on my purpose, which originated through my own imagination. Then I started thinking about how to actually reach people more effectively. And I have new ideas for that as well. It took me a few years, but at least the ideas finally came to me on how to potentially improve this more rapidly, so I will be executing it throughout the upcoming years. All this stuff, well, it can happen for you and your dreams as well, as long as you accept the responsibility of using your higher mental faculties against the lower physical side of your life. If you do it, you will succeed and joy will find your soul, for you will finally be on the road towards living a truly fulfilled life. One where, when it all comes physically to an end, you know, man, what a wonderful journey it was. I truly went for what was most important to me. I truly dared to step out and go for my dreams. What a marvelous journey it truly was. And then you melt back together with the mind of the universe. If this video helped you out on your journey, please hit the like button below. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, Dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.